All right, everybody. Well, you can see what the package here says. Perishable live fish. We're going to do an unboxing. I never thought I'd do an unboxing video, but here we are. During this unboxing video, you'll see that I had a couple of concerns. I emailed Imperial Tropicals about the concerns. They got back to me pretty much instantaneously and said, hey, everything should be fine, but just in case, let us know if anything goes wrong. And I gotta say, as a, a person that owns and runs an in-house service business, I know there is an in-house, but it's still a service business. Um, that sort of reaction time, that sort of response time is amazing. So uh, I would highly recommend, if nothing else, just for the, the customer service aspect of, of this company, it, it was awesome. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the unboxing. Is there any uh, markings on this? Well, there aren't really, but it's Imperial Tropics. Um, I ordered my first fish online from the dirty tank a few weeks ago and it went so well, I figured I'd try it again. I live in a small, small town in New England. We've only got like 5,000 people in our town and we're the biggest one around. And uh, basically for me to get to a local fish store, I'd have to go pretty far away and when I checked their list of fish they had in stock at the time, the fish I wanted were not in there. So, here we are. I bought all of these because I wanted one of the fish that's in here. It feels kind of warm in there. Not super hot, but of course we're only dealing with the styrofoam right now. Which, there we go. Oh, that water is... Oh, it's wet in here. It's really wet in here. Oh boy. Let's see what happened here. Well, all the fish are still moving, so that's nice. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one might have been leaked or leaking. I'm not 100% uh, certain on that, but you can see this paper is absolutely dripping wet. Gross. Doesn't smell too bad, thank goodness. Um, all right, so what did I end up with, you ask? Well, let me tell you. This first fish is a pretty common one. Um, it's a good size, though, which is why I bought it, because eventually my electric blue car is going to end up in the, the same aquarium with this thing. And, um, well, quite honestly, my electric blue car is constantly beating things up. So it is a fire mouth. Not just a fire mouth, it's a three to four inch fire mouth. So it should be able to take anything that's going to be given to it by my... Uh, by my Akara. This one, I think this is the one that was leaking and there's a lot of dirtiness in there. Um, you can see that. I literally just unwrapped this thing. Uh, you guys all watched me cut it open. Um, this one's got me a little worried, but this is a, a green Severum. Um, we're gonna see what he does, but we're gonna get him in the aquarium pretty quickly here just so he can start adapting to the temperature. And then this is the one that I actually bought this whole thing for. These are um, red and blue uh, Colombian Tetras, and there's 10 of them. And like I said, none of my local fish stores had any. Of course, my local fish stores are 45 minutes to an hour away. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm going to see what happens with this guy. Maybe I'll let them know that, I mean, it's still airtight, but there's water everywhere. And I think this is the only, I mean, they're all pretty squishy. So I don't really know. The water is pretty darn cold. Um, actually, hold on one second, and I can tell you how cold that water is. Luckily, I have this for my pizza oven. That water is approximately 65.8 degrees. The Tetras are about 67 degrees, and the Firemouth is also about 65 degrees, actually. So we're going to get these guys directly into that 90-gallon aquarium over there. That one right there that is conveniently emptied. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Some Oscars in a 125. Anyway, we're gonna get these guys in here so they can start acclimating to it. Um, we're gonna do that for about 20 minutes or so. You know, a typical standard amount of time. I always have these weights on here. They can probably come off now, but we'll see. Um, I had them on there because sometimes the Oscars would hit the surface pretty hard and I'd hear these little lids pop and it uh, frightened me every time. So that's why I have those on there. Anyhow, they're all going in here. Like I said, that, that thing is soaking wet on the inside. I'm gonna actually use these clamps to kind of hold them in place so that they don't go anywhere. 
sure I am. Sure I am. I don't want that floating under the lid because I don't need it going all over the place and trying to fetch it. So maybe I'll just try to use the lid as a clamp. All right, well, see what happens. They're in there, they're waiting, they're hoping. That temperature is cold in that water though, so we'll see how they do. Randy asks that you please like the video and subscribe to the channel. The fish have been in for just about 25 minutes, so they should be nicely acclimated. Oh, there's Randy. How you doing, Randy? Judging again. All right, we're going to get these guys out, get them over to the kitchen, start putting them into the nets, and get them into the aquarium. First up is the fire mouth. This fire mouth looked super healthy when I let him out of that net. Next I did the Severum, but just like the Oscar video, forgot to hit record. Lastly, we're going to do the Tetras. All right, so two days after the unboxing from Imperial Tropicals, these Tetras are looking awesome. Um, it'll be hard to see them, but the Severum is back there and the Fire Mouth is also back. Oh, there, one just, one just bit at the other. The Fire Mouth just bit at the Severum. Yeah, we're gonna have no luck focusing on. Oh, there we go. Look, now you can see that guy. There's the Severum. The Fire Mouth is hiding behind the filter there. But the Severum comes out, they both come out to eat which is really, I suppose, all that matters. Um, you know, at some point we're gonna get some more people in here, some more fishing. Oh, here you come, there they come. Every time I come over to the tank, the first instinct is to, uh, is to hide. But now they're coming on out here, looking like bosses, absolute champs. Like I said, that's a pretty big, that's a pretty big uh, fire mouth to just get, so. Oh yeah, there we go, now they're really out. You can really see them, they're looking great. No, no issues, no anything. Like I said, the Tetras just don't give a damn about anything, so they're out and about. But definitely will order again. All right, four days later, and the fish are still doing great. Haven't lost a one of them. The cichlids are coming up to the glass. They're coming up to the lid now whenever I feed them, so that's awesome. Customer service from this company was unbelievable from Imperial Tropicals. Um, I highly recommend them. 10 out of 10 on customer service, absolutely. So yeah, everything went well, and I'll keep you updated. Be good to each other. Go be awesome and do awesome things. Thank <laughs> you.